Well, listen, man ain't really here to do the, the chitty chatty pitter patter business, you know what I'm saying? We're here to talk about some things because mm-hmm. I've got a drill DJ in the building, a drill artist, and a presenter. Experts. I like to think I'm an expert. I've been out here, been doing some things. I like to bring people in the building so we could talk, you know what I'm saying? And it's funny though, because yeah. I don't actually know if I've met you in person, Bempa. No, first so I feel like this might be the first time yeah. today on site. Same with you, Aries. Yeah, first on time. Site. We've seen like online, done interviews yeah. and stuff, but like in person first today. Time, yeah. And Claudia, I'll see yeah. you around, you know yeah, what I'm saying? That's a right, man. <laughs> yeah. The presenters see each other all the time, you know what I'm saying? You get me? But I wanted to talk about like sort of um, the evolution of drill music and where we're at with it. Because I feel like um, there's been correlations with sort of the growth of grime over the last decade few decades we've had a few niche cultures here in the uk we've had like that mc driven niche cultures like we've had jungle music we've had garage we've had like grime then we've had like the afro wave afro bashment thing we've had uk hip-hop scattered around that and then we've kind of had uk drill in the last few years which many might say is maybe been maybe the most popular, mm. the most captivating, like being the most successful. But obviously that genre there has managed to stand on the shoulders of the genres which have came before. But with the prior genres, we've seen them peak and then we've seen them have a downfall and maybe mm. not sort of return. I didn't even mention the funky house yeah. thing. There was, was MCs yeah, involved. Was like yo, 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 see how that tip <laughs> my tongue? I was going to say, like, oh, funky. <laughs> like, funky house was definitely driven by a lot of like yeah, MC driven tracks and it had its time. But do we feel like the evolution of drill and this genre of UK drill is different? Here to stay? Gonna grow more? Has it peaked already? What do you feel about it, Aries? Yeah, do you know, I feel like it's obviously drill is a, it's a crazy point. Do you know what I'm saying? In terms of, it's, there's a lot of people making drill music. Um, there's a lot of sick drill music as well. And yeah, in terms of obviously drill is the hottest thing right now. Whether or not it's um gonna stay, that's like dependent it's dependent on the kind of music that we're making. Do you know what I'm saying? And um music lasts when it's timeless, like we were saying before. Like I think if it's if it's good music it lasts. So if we can find that in drill and make music that people just listen to and over time it's still uh, tracks are still hitting, I feel like that's yeah, that's that's what it is. Mm. Like, good music don't don't die out. What do you think, Ben Paul? No, I, I I definitely feel like um, it hasn't peaked just yet because, um, I don't know, you could have said it peaked at the point where um, it initially just charted in, in the country and everyone was like, wow, urban music is actually charting now. And then all of a sudden it, it goes to America, goes back to its original home, America, because it's a different sort of drill that they, that they, that they brought to us. Mm-hmm. So it's gone back to its whole America now and we have Pop Smoke, Five Four in this whole New York scene that's come from it. Brooklyn drill. The Brooklyn drill scene, literally like, where is that now? You, you could say, oh, it's peaked, but you never know what's going to come tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Like there's so much that's happened from where it started in like early 2016. Mm. Like when I was in school, them days, like so early much. days, like it, six, seven and that. Yeah, like, yeah, six, seven, 150 section. section all these guys like there's so much that's happened from then to now there was a point where where everyone thought that this was just that drill this drill thing was going to be something where it was just going to stop because oh you got to cancel drill it was that there was that whole movement there so i don't know it's, it's, there's been so many levels to this to this where you where you felt like that was the top and then it just went straight through the roof again mm-hmm. it's like the sky's the limit with it, with it right now really because it's definitely captivated the audience and it's become more than just underground music, 100%. even though it's raw. Mm. What's your take on it, Claudia? I'm glad you mentioned underground music because from a radio perspective, it's getting radio back in. It's making the playlists and it's being pushed. So I think for now anyway, it's, it's here to stay. I don't think it's going anywhere for mm. just a bit. Yeah, I think another thing is like, obviously drills, like drills, it's an emotion, do you know what I'm saying? It's someone putting down the way they're feeling. So it's the action of, you know what I'm saying? Drill is... For a lot of people, it's. I feel like that's why a lot of people are saying, "Oh, you know, music that goes commercial and is getting numbers, it's like it's not real drill." People say, mm-hmm. "Oh, it's not real drill." Mm-hmm. So obviously, it, de- it depends the way you look at it. But um, in terms of having that kind of passion, putting that passion down the track and putting down like how you're feeling, and um, it's art. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? So you see, with you saying real drill, because we yeah. know that drill comes from a real place. Yeah, yeah. Drilling's yeah. the road life. Mm. Yeah. Um, how important is it for 
the road and street life of the drillings to be separated from the art itself. Because you see like the cancellation thing that was early, there was all of that going on because they thought the music was too real. But then some artists are, are also sort of struggling to separate themselves from that street life. And then even though they're getting quite popular, it's still like maybe political for them as well, like moving in certain circles and how they can move and stuff. I feel like it's definitely something where where it's very real, but but it's it's like it's like work life and and life with your family people. You always got to keep that sort of separate, innit? Um, I definitely feel like there's so there's 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 so much that goes on in the lyrics. But you just, you just, you literally just got to keep it separate. Separate, like I, I've, I've got no other way of like trying to, trying to navigate. It. You just got to keep it separate. Like mm-hmm. it's, just, it's, it's not really, yeah, yeah. For example, Benpa, I mean, you DJ for yeah. two artists that have had yeah. real street stuff going on and have definitely had popularity. That's LD, who's part of Six Seven, yeah. the collective, and Digger D. Mm-hmm. I mean, their experiences in music thus far has been well documented. So. Yeah. What have you overseen in the way that they've managed to navigate sort of that street life and the music life as well? Yeah, no. Um, obviously with um, obviously with Digger is is it's cool because I see I see I see I see I've 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 watched Digger as like a fan, so from a fan's perspective, and then to actually meet him and see how he's navigating it, I like I, I like it because there's there's so much that could go left, but um, with this with the sixties and LD. Is, is, is definitely something that that the man have tried to make sure like they've kept that separate and and it's, it's such a blurred line car um even even when it comes down to me it's like i could be somewhere djing and then there's some folks saying oh no that's that guy from he's that man's dj but it's like i'm before i was anyone's dj i've just always been a dj mm-hmm. like I'm, I'm not involved in anything anything mm-hmm. political so um it's a it's a funny space because it's very real to people as well, mm-hmm. but at the same time, it's music. Mm-hmm. It's blurred line, but see those blurred lines. Like I'm on the radio side of things, presenting, mm. doing a radio show. Claudia, you know what it's like, yeah. innit? Like we do radio shows, and sometimes the radio establishment it's tricky in making the decisions. Like, is this going to be supported? If it's going to be connected to some real road-ish yeah, yeah, yeah. that can maybe get involved in the station get some nationwide sort of publicity like oh this radio station is connected to some real street-ish and funding that do you know what i'm saying how how difficult have you found that sort of claudia sort of navigating through that when you decide that you want to back an artist and <laughs> it might be some real issue it might be political you might put you might back an artist and yeah. it gets tribal for you because you're on this side and the other side is like, well, you're messing with that artist as well. There's all of these things to consider. But I don't know. I feel like we're fans. And when it comes to being a fan, um, I think if you have sense anyway, you don't get involved in artist political stuff because you can be a fan of two people that are complete rivals. Mm-hmm. But you just, I feel like the, the, it's the idiotic fans that are online that are like proper trying to get their artists in, into trouble and trying to get them riled up to do stuff. But um, in terms of radio and I guess playlisting and stuff, it's, it's, it never falls down to me to make that kind of decision. Mm. But sometimes, I don't know, like, it's a gut feeling. You know, when you listen to something, you're just like, don't know about this one. Mm. But overall, I think it's it's not too bad. So, you know, we're kind of talking about the evolution of UK drill and where it's sort of, I don't know, I don't want to talk about comparison, but where it sort of lies in regards to sort of some of the prior MC-driven cultures that have came before. What have been some of the biggest moments in your opinion so far, Aries? In terms of drill? Yeah. Well, even like, even talking about Digger and stuff, the fact that he can, do you know what I'm saying, put put his life on a documentary, big BBC Three, I thought that was, you know, that's mad for music, the music industry in general. And for guys doing, you know, drill music and not having to worry about getting, you know what I'm saying, what they say in their music in terms of, you know what I'm saying, because it's, it's still art. You want to be able to express your feelings mm-hmm. and drill music. That's the reason why I love drill music is because, and the, the artists that I listen to, I like to listen to is that you're thinking it's it's real, it's passionate, it's sounding, mm-hmm. like it's sounding heartfelt. Mm-hmm. So it's hard to get that heartfelt sound if you haven't actually been out there like doing stuff. Do you get mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Should the music, like when it comes to UK drill, should it be like art imitating life or does life imitate art? 
you know what I'm saying? So like sometimes the artists mm. might not have lived that life prior, mm. but they get involved in music mm. and then they get involved in the life afterwards. Mm. And then they start. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's mm. like, that's also mad as well. I hear you. I hear you. I suppose everyone's different. Everyone lives a different life. You can only rap about what you're, um, what you're living and how you're, how you're, how you're feeling. But as, as a listener, obviously I'm, as a listener to music, I feel like I can always tell mm-hmm. when a story's real mm-hmm. or like, and that's why that's, that's the vibe and the energy that's coming off the track. Mm. And then I decide what else I like. Do you know what I'm saying? So a big moment for you was Digger D's documentary. You thought that was a big moment? like it, for, the, for, the, for Drill in, in mm. general, yeah, I feel like that was a big, that's definitely a big, a big moment. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, I'm saying big drill art is getting put on BBC Three. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a big thing. I don't want to make it all about the record sales, but I feel like Tion Wayne yeah. and Russ guy are number one 100. with Body. Yeah, that was and crazy. The way that captivated the nation yeah. and sprung outside of the culture mm. and it became more than just like drill fans. It was music fans. Everybody down the road, your grand might be doing the thing on the TikTok, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's that's <laughs> the crazy thing because I, I, like, that was a real notable moment, but I remember when Gun Lean dropped. Mm. And it was like, mm. and it was like, I was, I was DJing. This was like, so, so I was still about DJing anything and everywhere, still to this day. But I remember I was at, um, it was like a kids party, and there's kids doing gun, gun lean. But like at that moment, I realized, yo, like this isn't, this is actually popular music. Yeah. Like, this is actually and it wasn't literally a gun lean though. It was like, but yeah, there, exactly, there, there, exactly. There, there was a radio edit that took <laughs> the gun out. Yeah, 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 so it was just yeah, lean yeah, in, yeah, in, yeah. in the, in the clean version. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, what the radio edit took gun out? Yeah, they took yeah, gun out. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> But the kids, them, the kids, them was so doing gun lean, lean though. Yeah, so still, yeah, yeah, the gun was taken out. Do you know yeah. what I'm saying? Right. But kids were definitely involved in the gun lean, so that definitely <laughs> penetrated the youth, the the kids, them. We're talking like six, seven years old, mm. gun leaning at like barbecue and they don't even know what it means though. Obviously, we got a big, you know, you could put a big word gun in front of it, but it's gun oh. leaning to so them. You know what I'm saying? It's different. Like, I don't know. Really, let's put things into perspective, yeah? Your little sibling, yeah, mm-hmm. that's five years old, or mm-hmm. your child that's five years old, mm-hmm. they might not know what gun lean mm-hmm. is, but they're saying gun lean, man, yeah, gun yeah. lean. Yeah, no, no, it's true. Or, they're or, saying or, or, it. or if your kid says pum pum, or says a worse <laughs> yeah, no, word with you. a P, you know what I'm saying? I hear you. They might not know what it means, but if they say it and they're getting involved in it, it's a it's, mad Yeah, team. yeah, I hear you, I hear you. Know you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Ob- yeah. Well, obviously, the gun lean dance was, you know what I'm saying? It's tamed. It was... It's I, not I that. feel like it was good. It, it's, it, it, it gives drill something that's so like supposed to be so dark and real. It gives it that sort of like party element mm, and yeah. like that sort of interactive yeah. vibe that gets everyone involved. And it's like you got talking to the mic. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. It, it, it gives you that whole interactive element. It gets everyone involved. And you know what I mean, mm. yeah. I love that side of drill. Yeah. If I'm honest, the playful side. Yeah, mm. man, it's nice. Yeah. Mm. What's been a moment for you, Claudia, that you can kind of say of note? Like we don't uh, want to talk about record sales all the time. I said body. I thought body was a massive yeah, so moment. I was that. And Russ and Gun Lean was a moment yeah. as well. Dicky D documentary. Uh, yeah, because I was gonna say mm. with um, the Russ and Tion situation with them going number one. For me, the reason why it was a big moment is because I remember Russ as well for the longest just not being happy about not getting recognition. Mm. He and maybe like people calling him loved. like a one hit wonder and that as yeah, well. Yeah, saying of. that his songs sound the same mm-hmm. and all of that good, mm. that stuff. So yeah, I was really happy to see that he, you know, got his number one. What else is there? Um, you know what? I'm going to take it to work. So with Wireless Festival, seeing a lot of them on stage, mm-hmm. um, Abra killed it, Unknown T killed it, Digger killed it. Even like let's mention the girls that I wrote in Doll killed it. There was a lot of artists on the stage that were performing and there was drill within the festival. Mm-hmm. So that's a moment for me that I really was like, this is good to see. So Benpa, maybe you might be able to sort of touch on this as well, DJing for artists as well. Yeah. Something that's been leveled at like a lot of um, drill artists as well, Aries, you could weigh in on this as well, is that like they suffer maybe the same problem that a lot of the grime artists suffered in not being the greatest performers. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Now, when it comes to DJing for like a lot of the the drill artists, do you feel like that's a part that needs to evolve more? Do you feel like it's at like a cool place? Joe, it's cause, cause it's funny because um, because lucky enough when I've come in um with sixty with, with six seven, it was like that was like the first drill group to be performing mm-hmm. anywhere. Like we done a lot of Europe shows, and it was like every show the man were learning, 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 and stage presence is a big thing, and just being able to like hold the mic and just and stand in front of the crowd and just 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 do your thing pro- properly like you just gotta learn each time um but um yeah like where 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 ld is at now solid but um definitely something that um 
artists have to think about when they're doing this thing like being able to perform live mm -hmm. um like it's not just about being in the studio and writing the bars but yeah i definitely feel like yeah, man, performing a live is a big thing aries you're a fun thing. character i haven't seen you perform live yet i don't know what your live performance is like but do you feel like a lot of your peers could improve or do you feel like it's where it should be at the moment um do you know what definitely i feel like um performance stage presence is important and i feel like that could be something that the uk is lacking compared to the us mm. in terms of stage presence and putting on a show mm. like yeah. and and that's the last and making it look show. like you love it do you get what i'm saying like i feel like people yeah us in the uk we're a bit more you know we're a bit quieter with our thing do you know what i'm saying we're not as um as flashy but i feel like yeah performance is important um and I want to touch on obviously even drill changing and um just the whole sound of drill, even the song that um Kanye just released with uh Alicia Keys. Oh mm. and like Fibia the foreign as well. Yeah, yeah crazy. Yeah. Like the fact that Alicia's jumped on it, her vocals on it, it's like it's a whole different thing. Did you hear Mary J. Blige's draw track as well? Oh, yeah. oh no, I haven't <laughs> heard that. <laughs> that album. Yeah. No, I haven't even heard that. I'm not going to lie, like, sort of, I don't mean to veer off from what you're saying, yeah. Mm. I love Mary J. Blige, but mm. then I didn't love that song. Didn't like it. So okay. I feel like mm. it's it's not going to work all the time, innit? Not all the time. Like, just yeah. like there was um, R&G when it came to grime before, and it rhythm and grime, they kind of took it a bit more melodic, and we mm. can see that there's emo drill happening as well. Central C's been doing it, ours has been doing it. Mm -hmm. So, like, to get the vocals mm. and have a different energy and emotion is part of the evolution as well, but... Trust me. Do we need an Alicia Keys or a Mary J. Blige on the drill track? But did you like the Alicia Keys on the track? Did you be I don't listen to Kanye West, so I haven't heard oh, that really? song. Why? Nah, I don't. Really? I don't. Why? Why? I mean, like... Look, everyone's on him. Everyone's <laughs> just shocked. Do you know what? Sometimes yeah. artists can be... I don't want to say cancelled, yeah, but sometimes artists can do too much to a point where you're like, all right, then let me put this in the bin for I a bit. I hate you. I hate you. Or maybe permanently or for a bit. And when with all the slavery is a choice, the Harriet yeah, Tubman yeah, stuff, yeah, yeah, the yeah, co-signing yeah, of the MAGA hat, yeah, I said, this is too much. Yeah, yeah, and I feel like man's got mental health issues as well, so I don't need to be involved in that thing mm. to be then all, always thinking about, why is he doing this? Why is he yeah, doing yeah, that? Yeah. Like, I don't need this. I love yeah. the old Kanye. It's true. You know what I'm saying? Jigger always, always used to say, Jay-Z used to say, um, people want my old-ish, buy my old album. Yeah, 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 so yeah. when it comes to Kanye, I don't want to hear the new-ish. I'll listen to the old-ish. You know mm. what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. yeah, I'm not a Kanye fan like that. Artists I can be cancelled sometimes, yeah. you know? I hear you. I'm I hear saying. you still. I hear you still. Yeah, 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 yeah. Still. And I don't need to be out here shouting from the rooftops like, this artist should be cancelled. Yeah, 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 I can yeah. just do my it's own an individual thing. Yeah, thing yeah, I yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Some people be out here like, oh, this artist should be cancelled. Are you doing it for like the crowd or for the attention? Yeah. Or are you just like, is it you for yourself? Don't like him, yeah. Yeah, you, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm. So yeah, back to it. I don't listen to Kanye, so I didn't <laughs> yeah. hear the song. Okay, okay. You liked it though. I like the track. I yeah, I like cool, the track. Uh, yeah, it was, it's a different vibe. I like the track. Yeah. Is this what we're trying to say? We're trying to hear big vocalists like, on drill tracks now do you know it's not even that i don't even think it's that but it's just it's just like it's the fact that we can do both do you know what i'm saying it's good to have that and have that um that drill sound and be able to know that it's not just we're not just going to get loads of you know what i'm saying crud lyrics on it blah blah, blah. Mm -hmm. there is more we can do with it like we can mm -hmm. dr like there's drill jazz do you know what I'm saying? I ain't heard no drill jazz, you know? You ain't heard the drill jazz? Oh, man. No, like Put a, me on then. Tell me some like artists a, like then. Don't just say it, though, and don't um, well, give your references. It? Who, who does it? Like, uh, what's his name? Um, Nux. That's, oh, like, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's yeah. like jazzy drill. Yeah. So is that what we're saying? We're saying And that's kind of cold. Jazzy and drill, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Because, yeah. because more so is like, it's like seeing are the purists accepting it though Benpa I feel like you're in that region are the purists <laughs> because there's always this thing that like when people try to sort of put a different slant on the sound yeah, yeah. then the purists start like coming out of the woodworks like nah I'm not accepting <laughs> that no, you no, know no. what I'm saying but I, just so funny yeah I got, I've got a friend yeah that who's a perfect example of that guy like, like I, I could play him something that's like so hot right now and he'll be like that's that funny man Travis Scott stuff you get like, I've got, so he's that sort of he's a purist you can't dish Travis though Travis get, is hard get, though you, get, you, get. you gotta keep the mic though Ben so, they're so, only gonna hear you though yeah, still yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you get me do you get me I always feel like I'm listening to a conversation <laughs> yeah. but obviously so I've got a friend who's just like that and he's a proper purist but, so like I know there's folks out there that that just drill comes from the UK yeah and the UK has a culture of just being bad vibes. Mm -hmm. Like it's naturally, it's natural to everyone that comes from here. Naturally, bad vibes. So when it, so when it goes to <laughs> places that, <Yeah. laughs> no, it's mad. It's cause it's true. Yeah. It's true. It's true. When it goes to places, yeah, that 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 we've never been, people that we don't understand, all of a sudden, oh no, nah, man needs that old stuff. When when man weren't successful, 
that, what's that about? Mm. Like, like if we're not going forward, then what are we doing? Mm-hmm. Like, there's no, there's no point in doing this mm-hmm. whole thing. There's no point of these men rapping on the end for all these years, just to be rapping on the ends. Like, 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 like one of the topics. Like, it's like, raw. Are, 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 um, are the old school guys res- like, um, considered, considered and respected mm-hmm. as legends? Mm-hmm. Like, man, don't want to be, man, don't want to, like, man, don't want to have that same, that same grime stuff happen again like mm-hmm. it just doesn't make sense like mm-hmm. like i feel like right now we like joe's gone way further than grams ever gone like a hundred thousand percent that is undoubtedly L- like i believe that i, believe I love that. i love both genres i, but I just want to punctuate your uh, comment there okay. and i want to say that joe has benefited benefited mm. of standing on the shoulders of the prior genres yeah, you know what i'm saying like like i said oh, yeah, yeah. i said yeah, there's yeah, been yeah, yeah, jungle yeah, 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 there's been yeah, garage yeah. there's been grime yeah. there's been uk hip-hop scattered amongst that there's been funky yeah, mcs yeah, yeah. and now we're at joe so each level has benefited off the prior and yeah. some artists and some of the genres took bullets as well yeah they yeah. took bullets because as much as people don't want to give Tinchy Strider, Tiny Temper, and artists like that, their respects. Speaking they done the it. pop thing to shed the light on this thing, and then yeah. other grimy artists were able to come through. But we and shall then, talk yeah. about that a bit more in the future. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 I, 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 I'll say something about that, but it's just, it's just can, I, can I chime in on that real quick? Chime in on that. Because it's crazy, because when, 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 when I was in school and a lot of the grime artists started switching to, to do the whole pop thing, it was cool. I, like, I, was, I was a kid then. I liked it, but it didn't push. It didn't like it. it definitely shed shed a light on the scene, but it didn't. It didn't push what was true to us any further. Like it was cool, but it didn't take us like. It didn't, like Graham could Graham would Graham could have been could have survived. Well, Graham still here. Just, mm-hmm. just Graham, Graham ain't dead at all. But it could still be something that their new artists coming to. But there are no new Graham artists like. Mm-hmm. Gram, Gram's like a nostalgia um, sort of thing. Like, it's a like legacy nostalgia. art form at this point. Yeah, isn't yeah. It? At this point, it's like, it's like if I'm going to see a Gram set, I can't name you a Gram artist that came out in, in the last two, three years. But I would love to see um, a these rascal, whoop, 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 like mm-hmm. all these men come and do their thing because mm-hmm. it's lit. Like, yeah. But it's I feel like cause it's just it's just a weird space that that Gram artists found themselves in in the early days. Like, well. The scene's not how it is now. So we're talking about the evolution <laughs> of UK drill music. On-site podcast, SK Vibe Maker, Bempers in the building, Aries Baby's here, Claudia Namu's here. We're talking up the things, man. We're getting down to it. You know what I'm saying? So I want to kind of, you know, continue on that evolution of UK drill where I feel like there's slightly a subculture which is happening, which is kind of becoming quite popular as well, is the emo drill sound. And that- you've got artists mm-hmm. like Oz and Central C. And the maddest thing is, I feel like them man there are looking like they're going to do better than a lot of the artists that were coming before them. Again, they're standing on the shoulders, yeah. but at the same time, this emo jaw thing mm. is happening because Central C, commitment issues and songs like that are definitely doing the numbers and captivating the audiences and shaping the culture. Mm. I don't like to say shaping the culture and things like that, but it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Do you get where I'm coming from, Claudia? Yeah, I get where you're coming from. Central C is all over the radio. <laughs> So I'm, yeah, I'm hearing, and I feel like he's getting the support as well. He's winning all the awards of recent, whether it's best new artist, best drill artist. Um, <coughs> so yeah, I feel like he's sort of the face right now. Mm-hmm. Would you, or is that a stretch? I'd, I'd say I, he's like the face of drill yeah. or digger. He's like the face, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But in terms of like, if we had like a UK CV, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely. What do you think, man? Yeah, no, defo right now. Um, Steffo, Steffo's been central's year since what was it 2020? When did, when did Day in the Life come up? Probably like 2020 yeah. pandemic, mm-hmm. and he's kind of just kept that run going. But um, yeah, that 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 emo, that emo sort of draw that's coming out. Um, see, like Nems, I think he's from Manchester mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. that. Um, and it's definitely like it's def- it's definitely hitting a lot more. Even um, it, would you quite consider that switch OTR kid? as emo draw because that that little gray area, gray area. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. like it's like. It's definitely coming to a point where I don't feel I don't feel like it's it's about uh who you are where we started where we even started the podcast. It's I'm not about like, being the hardest. Yeah, it's not even about being the hardest or, or the rawest. Your, your, your road TV or, or chinging anything. and all yeah, that. Yeah, it's not even about that. It's like like can you make a good song and and a lot of people would like and it's it, it's not even always about that as well. Mm-hmm. But it's it it def it's definitely about making a good song and just vibing like 
a lot of the time it's just the vibe, man. Like, see, it's not all about that. But then when you know that it's popular, you want to give the people what they want. Because yeah. I feel like a lot of artists do that as well. They give the people then what they want. Yeah, do you feel like certain times when it comes to writing your bars, Aries, that like, mm. you know that this is going to get like a quick traction mm. and this is what like is popping at the moment. So I'll write this. I'll mm. write the violence. I'll write the mad thing. Maybe it's not what I love, mm. but I'll write that. Do you know what? I don't do that. I don't do that. When I, when I, like I work off the beat, I work off a beat and like how I'm feeling, like my vibe and... The thing is, like I'm saying, like certain like drills, are action are going out and doing doing certain things. You know what I'm saying? I don't talk about certain madnesses. If I haven't done a madness, I can't talk about it. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, but there's still different things that happen in my life that make it suitable for me to express my feelings and emotions on these kind of tracks. And then when I'm feeling a different way, I'll jump on an R&B track. Do you know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, I feel like it's important. It's important to be able to do that. Versatility. Yeah, it's important. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm um, saying? And mixing. Everyone wants to fight for different genres, but it's mad. Like there's there's beats that sound. It's got that kind of grimy that grimy sound with the drill. They're the coldest beats. Do you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And then you've got you can put a grime flow on a drill beat. Like it's just cold. Yeah. Do we feel like we've had the moment like when it comes to our project from UK Jaw yet? Yeah, because when it comes to say UK rap slash grime, we've had Dizzy Rascal Boy in the Corner. We've had Kano Home Sweet Home. We've had gigs Walk in the Park. You know what I'm saying? We've had. I would like to say Sway, this is my demo. Um, like, you know what I'm saying? There's been like, they're just some of the projects off the top of the head. Mm. But like when it comes to like UK drill, what do we feel like have been the signature albums or projects thus far? Like the, the manuscript. I was going to say um, the time Heady dropped was big. I think mainly because of mm. the features that he had on there. He had Future Edna. on the drill track. Yeah, Edna. he had Future on the, and I, yeah, I cool. when I was hit, like listening to Future rapping, I was like, this is wavy. Cause at first I was worried, like this was, this isn't gonna go in when I seen his name, mm. but I loved that tune. So I feel like that, that one for me is um, a big one. I can't lie though, I don't go back and listen to it though. I don't know if mm. you do, do you go back and listen to it? So obviously with the albums and projects mentioned, they've they've been able to stand the test of time so mm. they're like 10 15 years removed yeah. so i feel like we need to marinate so it's kind of difficult to tell, tell because early. those projects haven't marinated yet okay but a bit too soon you know That's it's a bit too yeah. soon but are there projects like i might not have gone back to edna because like it's only been out for like less than two years yeah, yeah. but like once it soaks in certain of them singles and some of them songs stand the course of time yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what i'm saying it kind of gives you a different perspective on it yeah, but are we just saying Edna is like the project? No, 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 no. I was going to say, we haven't mentioned, like we mentioned off camera, but obviously K-Trap, how Sorry. K-Trap's like, go on, go on. Yeah, no, K-Trap, I'll say, yeah, K-Trap is one of the people that was saying, yeah, he's, like, he's... The moment and the project, yeah? Yeah, yeah. He's had a moment or project that you feel like... But that's what I'm saying. I feel like it's still too soon. Mm-hmm. Because Drill's still very new. But what, what artists do we feel in like... In terms of, in comparing it to Boy, boy in the... You know what I'm saying? Like, it's questionable whether like... Because at a point in time, like sort of Dizzy Rascal, Boy in the Corner sort of when that came out, that was one of the first albums. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? One of the first albums from a grime artist. So we're still in that sort of early phase. Mm. Do we feel like any of these projects are sort of doing it or come together as a, a project that... In terms of going back to and listening to and... That maybe in the future we will refer back to. Um, I definitely feel like there's been like a couple, well, I could probably name them, name them on one hand that like, um, that that will probably last the test of time. Like uh, that drillers and trappers, heady one, um, RV. Like when that one dropped, obviously even on drillers trapper one and two, that was brazy. Um, obviously K trap the mask. Which one was that? Um, drillers and trappers. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, K trap the mask. Uh, in Skangs we trust six seven. That 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 was definitely like that, I feel like I was like one one of the the first projects that I remember that like, the night that I dropped on Twitter. And it was just like, it was like a whole thing. But that, that, that's like almost like what, 2015, 2014, 2016? Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. So it's still not even that long ago. Mm-hmm. But I don't know, I, I don't know if it's going to be one of the ones where, 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 where we're going to be, where we're going to be in 2035 and, <laughs> and they're going to say, yeah, I remember, I remember when that, like, I don't think that we've had that sort of moment yet. Because when Boy in the Corner was that, did that win the Mercury? Yeah, uh, yeah. See, see, I don't, I don't know if, if we're at that stage just yet. We're getting there, but that's weird though. We're so, we're saying we're not at that stage yet. Where drill has had UK drill has had mm. maybe more commercial success than the prior genres. 
So why isn't it winning the awards and and having those sort of critically acclaimed projects yet then? I feel like it's mainly because of um, the musicality, like um, branching out, well, with, especially with the producers that they're using and the people that they're working with. It, 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 I feel like it has to get to a place where it's a bit more sexy. Mm. That's what and, I mean. Like, and, and you know what? Commercial, commercial success isn't, like these days, commercial success could mean like your, your song's popping off on TikTok. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? And there's nothing wrong with um, songs like that and TikTok songs, but it's not, that doesn't mean it's, it's on that like musical level. Do you get what mm-hmm. I'm saying? I feel like music's very easy. There's, you know what I'm saying? It, the song can just be quite playful and jumpy and it's going off. Do you know what I'm saying? On TikTok, whether you're saying something funny, but it might not be, it's not going to be music that's lasting. You know what I'm saying? That's my point. These TikTok songs, will they last? I don't think TikTok songs will last like that. Obviously, we're living in a fast few generation of music at the moment. TikTok is perspective to like sort of the era that we're in. Mm. I mean, that's a whole nother talking point of whether like songs that blow off a TikTok are credible. I feel like it's more if an artist has um, sustained success Mm. off of TikTok songs Mm. rather than just having a one, two here or there. Do you know what I'm saying? But you know what I mean? I I feel like we'll circle back and talk about this, man. The evolution of UK draw. We've been talking about it, man. We could be talking about it for a very long time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. (laughs)